Night before Veterans Day and the 249th birthday of the U.S. Marine Corps. But as we thank them, we also must recognize the battles that many veterans continue to fight long after their service. And that's where one group, Blue Star Families, has stepped up, becoming the nation's largest and fastest growing nonprofit serving military veterans and their families. Joining us now is Ashley Seville, a Marine combat veteran, along with Kathy Roth Duquette, the CEO and co-founder of Blue Star Families. Uh, ladies, welcome both of you. It is an honor. Uh, and Ashley, I do want to start with you tonight. First of all, thank you so much for your service. I know you were inspired by your parents' legacy of service. You followed in their footsteps in the U.S. Marine Corps, eventually leading convoys in Afghanistan as a platoon commander. It is incredible. And you say there is a hard truth about military life that most Americans don't see. What is that hard truth? I think the hard truth is different for all of us, but from my perspective, and thank you for um, thanking me for my service. Um, and it's a pleasure to be with you tonight. But I would say for that and the hard truth is for me, at least in my perspective, it is so much harder to be on the spouse side of supporting our active duty service members and having to transition from duty stations each year and really building that sense of community. So I'm really thankful for Blue Star Families giving me the opportunity, but um, that is the hard truth is kids and being on the other side of the one that is left when your spouse deploys is the hardest part of that all. Yeah, I, I am excited to talk to you more about that and uh, what you tell your sons about your service. Uh, Kathy, uh, quickly over to you. I know you previously served in the White House and the Department of Defense, and you are also a spouse of a Marine Corps veteran. Uh, you co-founded, you are CEO of Blue Star Families. What is the most urgent need that you want Americans to know about? The urgent need that we want Americans to know about is that our military is out on the front lines today, 226,000 deployed today, and there is more coming that's facing, uh, more of a fight coming that's facing us. Our service members and their families, they live in our communities and they actually need more support from us. They need more support than they're getting. Um, and we can provide that, Blue Star Families can, with the help of folks like the folks who are watching now with hope, help from our neighbors. Ashley, would you recommend military service to your own sons? I think overall, I would leave it to them as their choice. I think that's a beautiful part of America and why we do everything that we do each and every day. Um, would I recommend it? Straight, I would say you have the freedom to choose. Freedom to choose. Oh, well, we I, I hear you. Kathy, you, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. You know what we're so uh, you know we do a lot of research, a lot of survey, and what we've been seeing over the 15 years is that the chance of military families recommending service to their own children has been falling over time, mm -hmm. and it's not because people don't like the mission. The mission's amazing. Supporting our country is is a real privilege, but it's hard on the families. What we're seeing in our surveys is folks are having a hard time with you know losing jobs each the spouse losing jobs each time they move re. Um, a, uh, re resettling their families in new places. The lifestyle challenges are leading military families to not recommend service. These are things we can turn around and we actually have to turn it around because we have to field the military for all of us to lead the kinds of lives that we want to leave in this country. Yeah, this and, and country. Kathy, to that end, you managed four combat deployments and nine moves over 16 years uh, for your family. That, that boggles the mind. What is the toll of these sort of frequent moves on military members, their families, their children? Yeah, I, I lived it firsthand, and that's what led me to want to form this organization along with other folks. We want to keep doing this mission, but when you lose your job and your family's down to one income, and in America, we need two incomes, you're trying to find a place to live. You're trying to find the best schools for your kids. Your kids are getting that reintegration and changing their schools. Think about nine times in 16 years, if you've ever moved once, what that would be like. We can't make it so hard on the families, and the Pentagon can't solve it by itself. We need our communities, where the people actually live. 70 to 85 percent of military families are in communities, like Ashley is, like I I was when my husband was serving. Mm. We need those communities to see that we're there and help us out. Ashley, how can people help? I think it's about understanding what's going on in your community, saying hi to your neighbor. There's a military family in every zip code of the United States of America, whether wherever they are in their service. And it's just saying hi and then doing their part. Blue Star Families has launched doyourpart.com, which is literally how corporations, everyday citizens, 
members of our community can get involved from an individual standpoint, from a community standpoint, to do their part each and every day. And it's really just about understanding where we are in our lifestyle. Yeah, Ashley Seville, appreciate you. Kathy Roth, Duque, thank you so much for the work that you do as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And we do want to point out if you or a veteran who uh, you know is suffering from PTSD, help is available 24-7. You can call the Veterans Crisis Hotline. The number is 988. You can press 1 or you can text 838255. We'll be right back.